Hey guys, everything check pro here. And today in this video, we'll be speed testing, comparing, and we'll be seeing what all are new in the macOS Sierra Public Beta 4 as compared to the macOS Sierra Public Beta 5. So before I start the video, with the macOS Sierra Public Beta 4, there was an iTunes update, and now with the iTunes update, we have a new thing coming on. Now when you go uh, on to any of the albums, I'll go. Uh, when you hover through, you could see a new play button right here and it's quite bigger than the previous update I don't know whether I just noticed it right now or it was there already but you could see the new play button in the album art when you just hover through the album art you could see the newer play button which is a kind of blue and white-ish transparent background color so that looks really good on most of the album arts so that is the new thing and I, which I observed and if you are on the previous versions of your beta, for example the beta 1 or beta 2, you might have noticed one more small problem. So I just clicked on a video. So I just play this and I'll increase the volume. So oh, why is it not playing? Is this another bug? Yeah. Clients are seeing that it is playing. Now, let me press the space. This video is continuing. So, I'll close this. So yeah, uh, this video is continuing. When you click this and press the space bar, this video is continuing. But in the previous betas, or I would say beta 1, beta 2, you would see that when you press the space bar, the video uh, in the uh, pop-up mode plays from the starting and the audio is playing in a different mode. So this has been patched. And I want to let you know that this is there. So now, we have got the AJA system test as recommended by... So, okay, so I need to open it like this right here so yeah it's working so video device okay now <clears throat> you can see the AJA system test is there and now we'll test how it is so we'll give it a start first and let's see how much times it takes oh yeah it's pretty much fast it just says write speed of 300 0.5 megabytes per second and a read speed of 234.6 megabytes per second. That's great. So let's do it once more and see what is the result. Approximately the same 308.9 megabytes per second write speed and 224.1 megabytes per second read speed. So that's great. And I'll show you before I go to the next test that it is the macOS Sierra Public Beta 4 16A. 286A, so that's the beta 4. So let's go to Geekbench now. Do I have Geekbench here? I have the Nova Bench. Okay, maybe I have to start up again. Geek, yeah, Geekbench 3. So Intel 32 bit, run the benchmark score. So I think this should be over soon. So it's taking some time. So let's see. So before it finishes the benchmark test. We'll align these guys and for future reference I'll just make a folder right here. And I'll say speed test. Oh the folder is there. So where is the speed test folder? It is right here. So I'll delete all the previous data now and I'll put this right here. B3 Oh, sorry, B4 versus B5. Beta 4 versus Beta 5. And okay, guys, I think it's going to take a bit of more time. So I'll be back after the benchmark test is over. So, guys, back after the benchmark test, I ran that in the Geekbench. And I just made a small mistake uh, uh, previous time when I just went off. I didn't change this guy to Intel 64 bit. And now I changed it and reran the benchmark scores. So, the benchmark source, single core score of 2583 and a multi core score of 5293. So, uh, these are the in depth scores for integer single core 2499, multi core 5783, floating point 2622, and multi core 5949, memory 2675, and multi core 3002. So, these are my system specification 13 inch MacBook Air running the beta 4 so uh, it has an i5 
uh, 1.80 gigahertz, dual core, four threads, and one processor. So these are the complete information of my system. So these are detailed reports. So coming back to the main screen. So yeah. So I just take a screenshot of this guy with here, so that will be easy to compare. We just be comparing this top section, and I'll take it for the AJA system benchmark as well. So, so let's go to graph, and this is the graph. You won't be understanding anything. Text. So these are the read write speeds per frame. So we'll just close both of them. So the branch, and now we'll be going out and here results and then we'll put beta 4 and then we got two screenshots right here we just copy that and give it a shot so now I have already downloaded the uh, benchmark so I just quit everything except the quick time otherwise thing I'm filming will be gone so here we have the app store Updates. So you can see the uh, restart required is right there. So I restart my system, and then after I'm back, I will test the benchmark scores for the same system, but it'll be beta five. So I'll be back after I update my system. So guys, back after the update. So uh, we will see what this uh, version of the beta will be called as. So this version is 16A294A. So this is beta 5. So before I update it, I would like to show you what was the uh, memory specification. So uh, before I went off, uh, this was the uh, memory specification. In the beta 4, I had about capacity of 249.8 and 82.03 gigs remaining for the beta 4. So when I went on to beta 5, what happened so 249.8 that remains the same 81.08 so your space basically reduces for about 700 megabytes or something so that's about you could say approximately one gigabyte of storage will be lost when you update this so now standard procedures we will be doing the geekbench and the disk uh, benchmark test so let's open up the Geekbench first so Geekbench so yeah guys I this is what I missed in my uh, previous video that I didn't change it but I did change it afterwards and I gave you the results so now I'll start the benchmark test and I will be back as soon as the tests are over and we'll be comparing the results and we'll be checking whether there are new uh, update or there is something new in the beta 5 or not so guys back after the geekbench test so the geekbench gave me a single core score of 2592 and a multi core score of 5320 so we'll be looking into the analysis of this beta and then finally we'll be looking at the comparison so let me first take the screenshot of it so that it's easy to uh, compare them so here we go so the screenshot is taken so the integer score is 2494 single core and multi core is 5800 floating point score 2620 right here and multi core score of 5986 memory score 2734 and 3028 and these are the graph status in depth analysis we will not be looking at into it so this is the Geekbench score. So let's uh, do the other test. That is the AJA system test. So I'll quit everything else except for the QuickTime and the AJA test. And let's see. Same thing, 128 megabytes of file size. And let's give it a start. So 323, 330. So let's have a screenshot of this guy too. So here we go. So now we'll be comparing it. 
So beta 5, this will be beta 05. So this should work. Now we'll go on to our page right here. And so <clears throat> these guys should be here. So we'll open all three of them here. So this was this and let's go to beta 4 now opening all three of them in another so yeah so comparing the hard disk analysis before and after so let's ar arrange it so this <clears throat> this is at 333.45 and this is 414 so this is the one after the update so 249.8 gigs for the capacity same here 82.03 was there 81.08 so your memory basically reduces when you update to beta 5 let's close this and then geekbench so this was beta 4 i guess yeah so yeah now when we compare it side to side it was 25.83 in the beta 4 you can see the name the beta 5 is giving a score of 2592 single core score so you have basically a small amount of jump in the single core score and the multi score score is 5293 and here 5320 that has also has a minor jump so this really clears the doubt that apple is really progressing and good news is that the systems are becoming much faster with the new beta so at the end when the, the beta will be gone and the final version will be released we can expect better scores than these two definitely so the same thing and the AJA system test so previously it was 325.4 megabytes per second write speed but after update it is just 323.4 so about 2 megabytes per second is reduced I don't know why th this is uh, happening I don't know why this actually happened this is strange for some reason why the performance is going down the read speed 253.4 megabytes per second but on the other hand on the right hand side read speed is 330 so that's a mammoth jump about 100 megabytes per second you're getting more i don't know why it was less that time or why it is more that time so maybe for satisfaction let's run the test again you know maybe there is something wrong with it <coughs> Not, nothing else open just the preview and this test let's give it a start so now it's even lesser I don't know why 306 and 330 is the read speed so everything in the write speed is reducing on the other hand the read speed is much better so you can expect that your disk read speed has increased a lot but the write speed no not, not a much of a luck for this so at the end Let's open up the Geekbench results and see where Apple has gone. It's for the beta 3 and coming on to beta 4 and 5. Beta 4 right here and beta 5 right here. So let's close this guy. So align, okay. So beta 5, so yeah, we'll maybe keep each in one page. Five, four, so that it's easy to view. So beta two is right here. So it started from 2153 and 4243, then 2546, 5266, then 2583. This is the beta four. So there is slight change. 5066 to 5293 again a jump and then finally the beta 5 2592 5320 the highest achieved till now so i hope when the beta 6 and 7 comes up these scores are definitely going to improve so and second thing i would like to address one more problem which i was facing and recently i just found out the solution for that in google chrome when you watch up your videos so i'll uh, open up Let's pop this guy out. So, I don't know why my net is slow. Is that some problem? 
So yeah, when you play any video, so like I need to play my video because I can't play someone else's. Oh. That could raise a copyright problem if I don't play mine. So let's play this one, the Independence Day special. So now when you're playing this video, you generally see some disturbance occurring when you play a video from Google Chrome. I don't know whether it was an issue of a Google Chrome or Mac OS Sierra public beta or whatever, I don't know. So there is a fix for this. Press command and the comma button, you will go to this uh, settings page and just type hardware and you can say use hardware acceleration when available. You better uncheck this because it should be like this and then you have to uncheck this and restart your Google Chrome. So if you don't restart, this problem will not stop. Your video display will be flickering. You'll see some strange display issues. Initially, I thought my display is gone or there's a problem with the graphics card. But when I checked the web, it said you need to switch off the hardware acceleration off. So when I did it, after that, I'm having no issues. Now you can see the video is playing uh, normally without any problem. So this was also the problem in Mac OS El Capitan when it came off. But luckily, I didn't have a trouble in that. But when it came to Mac OS Sierra, I had this problem for quite a while and I thought it was a glitch of uh, the Mac OS Sierra public beta, whatever is going on. So if you need to get rid of it, please do this. So that's it guys for this video. We just speed tested beta 4 and beta 5. And good news is Apple is progressing in the right direction. So that's it guys for today. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe to this channel to see more of videos. So I'll see you up in the next video. Until next time, it's peace out.